Remember, it is a privilege to be here. We are guests of Columbia Unitarian. Come on, people, let's stay together, seat up the steps, and into the building. <laughs> Hey Zoe! Free's a birthday girl! <laughs> apartment to grab a quick bit of food and to grab a present for Zoe but going back now for office hours. Class this morning was really good. Uh, I always feel great coming out of class in Paradise, Frankenstein and Paradise Lost. We were doing Paradise by Toni Morrison today and I have one more class of it left and it's so crazy. I think it's a really good class in itself but I think it's so good because it's my first class in person after so long so I think we're all just really loving being around others so it's really nice, but yeah, so I'm currently heading to office hours and then gonna go to the library. not many people around so it's great but um, I'm about to work on a revision of my perspectives for my final paper with a cat and Zoe so I'm going to do that and then later I'll probably go to the library then later I'm meeting Mel for some pizza and tonight I have a lecture at 7 p.m. until 10 so fun day <laughs>
influencer influencer -y around you. But anyway, no. hello, Mo. <laughs> Yeah, I saw that this is actually happening tag and I was curious by that and I noticed that there was a piece that I noticed in another tag, the solo performance tag, called the myopia, so I looked at it again. And it's interesting because it's called yes. this is this is actually yeah. sorry. I am on my way to class again, my Paradise Lost Pakistan Paradise class, the last one. Uh, hopefully our class are going to hang afterwards. I think we're gonna Go on a picnic. The weather's not looking amazing, but you know, as long as it doesn't rain, that's my motto as an Irish person. <laughs> today and I'm wearing jeans and I was wearing a cardigan but not anymore it's too hot um, but I'm on campus I just met up with some classmates for some lunch after our last class of summer B insane I have my last class of my theater class tomorrow evening in person again and it's so crazy how fast this half term has gone so technically it was only six weeks but they're like intensive summer courses so it was a lot not done just yet I still have a final paper due for my English class and a criticism review and tomorrow night I'm doing a presentation for my theater class which I'm gonna go work on now and I have another final paper so they're all due in the next week or so but I'm finishing up final classes today and tomorrow which is so crazy and then my next classes will be in the fall in September yeah but now the weather is really nice I might go home again grab my laptop and come back here and work on campus because um, there's loads of little tables that you can work out here Friday, I'm about to go meet Lauren for some lunch. It's a stunning day, so pretty, and I'm wearing a skirt. It's that kind of day, it's a skirt day. I'm wearing a t-shirt because I burn easily, so. <laughs> dining in New York. Later, here we are. And they have a Amazing. center in Brooklyn. And I think they also have like a, spa a space you can rent out and stuff. So that's pretty cool. And as I wrote there, they're a not-for-profit organization. And there's a link there to where I find that information. I've noticed a lot of like people that really are regulars in 24 hours yeah. and I wonder if that's where that stuff stemmed from because sometimes I must say the website's pretty good but there's some information that's very hard to find because there are like so many productions they've done and so many different plays. I'm on campus. I just came out of my theater class. I think it went well. I did a presentation on 24 hour plays in New York and I think it was fine. I, I unfortunately like ran out of time had to do like there were some technical difficulties because we we're like doing hybrids so fixing some things but eventually it all worked out and all the other presentations from other classmates were also so good so interesting we covered things like deaf theater and some playwrights and we also covered these two slam poets which I, who I'd never heard of and I'm so excited to go into their work um, Sarah Kay and Phil Kay so good and now I'm waiting for my VIA ride. VIA is kind of like Uber, it's like a transportation app but Columbia students have like a promo code and we can in the evenings from like 6pm to 4am you get it for free so I have a free ride home. <laughs> 